The world of celebrities is one that is full of questions about relationships, marriages, potential births, and of course, divorces. Because just as sure there are to be celebrity marriages, so too are there going to be celebrity divorces. And now we have our first one of 2021, in the form of the divorce of Zoe Kravitz and Carl Glusman. These two were married a mere 18 months, and yet have filed for divorce. Can this be happening like we expected to? What is the motivation behind this? Allow us to show you why Zoe Kravitz and Carl Glusman are divorcing. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 7. How the Divorce Was Found Out About The 32-year-old High Fidelity star officially filed for divorce on December 23rd. Obviously, it's not just that this is happening, but rather that we found out it was happening and it's a big deal that it got revealed. People was first to report the news, obtaining court records that show that the actress filed for divorce on December 23rd. Not exactly the best way to welcome in Christmas, but if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. While neither Kravitz nor Glusman have publicly commented on the divorce, they each recently shared cryptic messages via their Instagram profiles. On Saturday, January 2nd, Kravitz sparked interest from fans when she shared a meme via her Instagram story depicting the universe throwing away a trash bag labeled people, places, and things that no longer serve my greatest and highest good, along with the caption, mood. Meanwhile, Glusman recently deleted all of his Instagram posts, save for only two photos, neither of which feature Kravitz. While not the most emotive thing they could have done, there's no doubt that this was a call out to the others that they're very much done with them and their relationship, which again is pretty interesting given that they were only together for 18 months. Number 6. The Former Love Zoe has filed for divorce from her husband, actor Carl Glusman, after just 18 months of marriage. The other thing that drives home how random and unexpected this was is that just six months prior, the two were more than happily celebrating their one-year anniversary as a married couple. They were married in June of 2019, with Zoe Kravitz going and posting a picture on the said wedding day and saying, one year. The actor also shared his own tribute, calling the actress his best friend. One year. Not the year we expected, but I feel like we can make it through this. We can take on anything, he wrote. I love you more than anything. You're my best friend. You crack me up and melt my heart. You call me out on my bullshit and you challenge me to grow. I love you for that. And I'll do anything and everything for you until the day I die, he continued. Now let's go save the world at Zoe Isabella Kravitz. So clearly, they were still in love not too long ago, making one, if not many scores of fans wondering what exactly happened between these two to go from you're my best friend and I love you to we need to get divorced. Number five, the engagement. I think kind of when, the, like when we launched the show, the premiere, I think was the last time we all were in the same room together. So. The two had been rumored to be dating a lot ever since 2016, and they made it official later on, and their relationship took off from there, including their much beloved engagement. Kravitz first revealed news of their engagement during a 2018 interview with Rolling Stone. Oh yeah, I'm engaged, she explained when the reporter spotted her ring. I haven't told anyone yet. I mean, I haven't told the world. I wanted to keep it private. The daughter, Elisa Bonet, also shared that Glusman had intended to propose in Paris, but ended up proposing in the couple's living room. He nailed it, she said, noting that she preferred the relaxed way the actor asked her to marry him. And I love that it wasn't this elaborate plan in Paris. It was at home in sweatpants. So again, these two were clearly in love. And not too long ago, they seemed to be in a place where they were comfortable, even in the pandemic that we live in now. And yet something happened that caused them to drift apart in months flat. But what could that have been? Number 4. The Reasons Until one of them speaks out on the matter, there is going to be a lot of speculation about why these two got divorced. Since it was Zoe who filed for it, there's no doubt going to be rumors about Carl and how he may have cheated on her or did something to Zoe that was unforgivable, and since he's not talking, many will likely speculate that there was a major blow-up between the two that just couldn't be worked out. Which is honestly part of marriage, you need to work things out when things get rough. But more times than not, celebrities just, well, they don't do that. They instead go and do impulse reactions to things and that results in things just like this. They get divorced and cause all sorts of stirs in the community. In fact, this kind of thing has happened quite a bit in recent years. Number 3. The Celebrity Standard For many people think celebrities live their lives and go do things like get married to other celebrities, it's a big deal. They love when certain couples get together, have kids, and so on. But in the last decade, and especially now, we've all seen sorts of cases where couples all but rush to marriage, and they pay the price in the long run, or even the short run. For proof of this, look no further than Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. These two dated for years, got married, and then divorced a year later. Fast forward to now, and they have a ton of court battles to get straight who abused who, who was slandering the other's name, and so on and so forth. Their love seemed to be real, and yet ended in literal tragedy and chaos. 
That says something right there. Or how about the trials of Ariana Grande? After getting out of an abusive relationship via Mac Miller, she went on a hugely controversial relationship with Pete Davidson. Why was it controversial? Because they went from friends to dating to engaged in less than two months. People were warning her that she was rushing things, but she rebuked them and said she knew what she was doing. And then her ex, Mac Miller, took his life, and she felt so guilty about everything that happened that she broke off the engagement and the relationship with Davidson and basically spent all of 2019 being single until she met the new love of her life that she's now engaged to. She seems a bit more stable this go-around, but you never know. And of course, how can we forget the current drama going on between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West? These two have gone and done all sorts of crazy things together, and they very much were a couple that hooked up under circumstances that were questionable at best. And now, several years later and four kids in, Kim is just now starting to realize that Kanye isn't going to get any better and is thus considering divorcing him. So, whether it's short-term ending or long-term revelations, it is clear that celebrities just don't have a good grip on relationships. And to be clear, there are many more we could have named, including Brangelina, Leonardo DiCaprio and his curious relationship that he's in now, Kylie Jenner and the relationship she had with Travis Scott, and many more. Number two, what does this prove? Circling back to the main issue at hand, with Kravitz and Gloosman divorcing, it really makes you wonder certain things, including the question of, what does this prove? What does this show about not just our world, but the celebrity world? The easy answer is that celebrities as a whole paint a picture for themselves that if they marry another celebrity, big or small, that it'll go and be a perfect thing, not unlike a Hollywood movie. And for a while, it may seem that way, as they have likely lots of money to go and do things that would put other marriages to shame. But what it really proves is that sometimes these celebrities don't go and look for the true hallmarks of a relationship. The things that ironically Carl outlined in his anniversary tweet. That Zoe was his best friend and that he wanted to go and save the world with her. But sadly, that didn't happen. Number one, so what happens now? As sad as it may sound, the two are likely to just be fine and going forward with their lives. Kravitz is attached to the Batman and is going to be the next Catwoman, and Carl Glusman is going to also be fine as he has his own acting roles to go and do. But until definitive answers are given on both sides, there will be continuous questions as to why the two broke up and why it happened in the way that it did. Either way, it's a tragic tale. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the impending divorce between Zoe Kravitz and Carl Glusman? Can you believe that these two are splitting up after only 18 months of marriage? Do you think that this is just the latest casualty in terms of the celebrity lifestyle? Who do you think will be the next celebrity couple to get divorced? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you next time on the channel.